What's going on YouTube? Rob A here and today we're going to be taking a look at Mech Ideas Demolition Crew DC-03 Gauntlet otherwise known as Iron Fist. Uh, so this was a project that was going to be put out by... ooh, I can't even remember the name of the company. I pre-ordered it way back when it was another company and then they for some reason they couldn't you know couldn't make this thing work or whatever uh but i guess they sold the design to mech ideas so it was produced by those guys and uh, as you can see it's really really tiny little box very very cool um so there's absolutely nothing on this box other than the picture so i'm just gonna open it up and we'll check it out so i'll see you guys in a second Alright guys, so here we have Gauntlet in vehicle mode, and um, yeah, he's he's very cute. Um, he's got, uh, I mean, he, there's a little bit of uh, gapping going on here in the vehicle mode, as you can see. Everything kind of fits together if you just massage it a little bit, but um, it doesn't quite lock in uh, as tightly as I'd like. And uh, yeah. But uh, it's a very cute little vehicle, as you can see. Got some nice wheels going on here. And uh, you've got this little weapon on the top that can spin around. This bit can spin. And you can actually pull these out. They're just held in by uh, what looks to be the same uh, same plug type as uh, in like the Cyberverse figures. So you can, you can kind of put these anywhere you want on this guy. He's got a bunch of connector holes. Uh, here on the sides, and uh, I think that's I think that's all of them. So you can kind of attach these however you want. Uh, if you want to, you know, <laughs> make this guy your very own. Um, but you know, typically you just want to kind of have it like that. Um, so there he is. He's a decent representation. A quick size comparison. Uh, here he is with Deluxe uh, Drift from the new movie. So you can see he's quite stumpy like that. Um, another quick comparison here he is with uh, Roadbuster. So he's a cute little guy for sure. Now uh, to transform this dude, uh, it's pretty simple. Just want to pull uh, these little flaps out like so. Mm -hmm. And then pull this whole bit up. It's You can't really tell a huge difference but you pull it up like that to kind of uh, free up the the legs and the feet you just pull the feet down like so and then the little toes come out like that all right so you've already got them started here uh, and you just want to pull the arms up kind of straighten them out to your liking and now the arms are a little different, and I'll explain that in just a moment. Uh, but then you just fold the uh, fold the front half down, and flip the head right up like so, and then flip these panels in just like so. And uh, there are a couple of slots in here. You can kind of see, doot doot, and they're meant to tab in on these little tabs. They do not really hold terribly well on those tabs like at all <laughs> but you can kind of just sit them on there and then you can kind of just uh, pose him however you like there you go and there is gauntlet or iron fist or visitron whatever makes you happy um yeah so um, uh, I, I ended up changing the arms around on mine. So basically I just pulled I pulled the ball joint uh, out here and out here at the back and then swapped the top of the arms um, because the way that they have them is basically say this is the front of the figure and these are the these are the front of the arms. Um, so you couldn't really get a whole lot of range of motion out of the elbows. Um, so this way, Yes, the ball joints are more visible, uh, but now he's got much more range of motion in the elbows. Uh, he can move his arms a whole lot more. He can get nearly a 90 degree uh, bend. And uh, yeah, so that's what I did. And uh, those ball joints were tough to get back in, but um, 
I think it was worth it in the end. Um, so articulation, his head, as you can see, his head, very nice, very characterful. Uh, his head is on a ball joint. You can get a lot of good movement out of this guy. Um, his arms, of course, the shoulders are ball jointed. His uh, outer shoulders are on universal pin, hinge, swivel, whatevers. Uh, he's got a double ball joint elbow. He's got ball jointed hands. Uh, he's got the waist swivel to do. He's got the hip ball joint, the thigh swivel, and a nice deep knee, uh, and a little bit of toe wiggle here. So, very, uh, very nice. Uh, this guy is very small as well. <laughs> uh, to give you a quick idea, let me see if I can grab. Uh, well, all I've got in robot mode really is grind rod over here. So you get an idea of how tall this guy is. And, oh yeah, here you go. Generations uh, Scrapnel. So you can see he's... Uh, yeah, he's, he's a bit, he's roundabouts, he's like a chunky scout, uh, I would say. Uh, but very cute, um, pretty pretty playable. Uh, there are some issues, um, and honestly, you know, you can t you kind of tell that it's not um, really an original Mech Ideas design. Uh, while I do love uh, the, the character... And I like the figure. I'm not. I'm not as in love with this figure as I thought I was going to be. The 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 plastic is, uh, it's it's good. It's good plastic. It feels sturdy. Um, the joints a little bit could be tighter. Uh, nothing is really loose. Nothing feels like it's gonna fall. But you can see it's it's sagging a teensy bit. Um, the panels and things don't have that Mech Ideas slash uh, Mastermind Creations kind of touch where everything, everything just locks in like crazy tight and crazy strong. Um, so there is a lot of a lot of give. There's a lot of gapping, especially in the vehicle mode. Um, and this guy, like I said, his his backpack does not just doesn't plug in anywhere. Um, he does end up with the holes on his forearm, so if you want to, you can move uh, move his guns to his forearm. And, uh, yeah. So, pretty cool. I mean, I do like him. Uh, he's, um, he's fun. Unfortunately, the way his toes are angled, uh, you got to kind of have him in sort of a wide A stance to really get him to stand properly. Uh, otherwise... He's prone to falling backwards if you have his legs closer together like this. It's not too bad, especially now that this is on his arm. But if I were to take that off and put it on his back, he's uh, definitely definitely wants to fall back. Um, but yeah, overall, a nice figure. Um, honestly, maybe a little bit of a step backward for mech ideas, but again, this was not originally their design. They they got this design from another another group, another uh, you know independent party that you know eventually just couldn't uh, couldn't bring this to the market, and so passed on the design to mech ideas. But it's a really cool figure. I mean, I don't feel badly about it um he's really really adorable <laughs> and uh really nice to pose he fits well with the uh well i don't have this guy transformed um but yeah i think he'll look really nice in a wreckers display um but yeah so you guys if you can get your hands on one and check them out i i suggest you do that see him in person and decide for yourselves but this is uh this is my experience with the uh, figure. I do like him, um, but he's he's certainly not um, quite up to the standard that we're used to with, say, Mech Ideas or Mastermind Creations, but still a very cool toy. Uh, but that is going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.